In this video, we want to help families, educators, and providers navigate the resources available to support children with disabilities who have the most intensive needs during the COVID-19 pandemic. We want to highlight resources that help you answer questions about how to support communication development at home, communication resources to share with educators, and how to support communication as your child transitions to and from in-school services. We intend for the video to be a brief introduction to free resources available from three technical assistance centers that you can explore on your own and share with others. They say it takes a village to raise a child and families and professionals should work together to improve outcomes for children with disabilities. Meeting the needs of children with significant disabilities is challenging in most circumstances. If you are the parent of a child with intensive needs, the pandemic has likely significantly increased the challenges you face every day in caring for and educating your child. We recognize that these resources alone will not relieve all your concerns or answer all your questions. We hope that sharing this video with the team of educators and other professionals in your child's life may provide an opportunity to build upon conversations you are having to support your child while they're engaged in virtual learning or a mix of in-person and remote learning during the pandemic. The first resource is to help with communication supports at home. The Thai Center has created parent resource videos, a series of videos that support families in understanding the important role that they have in teaching their child. The series offers ideas for how to support learning at home. Each focuses on three key questions. Why is it important to focus on this with my child at home? How can I do this at home? What support can I ask from my child's school? Watch these videos to learn ways that families can teach their children with significant cognitive disabilities and support conversations with their children's teachers to link homeschool supports. The next resource is one that families can share with educators about communication supports. It's from the Thai Center and is called Communicative Support Tips. Tips stand for Thai's Inclusive Practices Series. The series provides ideas and practical information on supporting students with complex communication needs in the classroom, including encouraging peers to use augmentative and alternative communication, using collaborative teams, getting to know students who use augmentative and alternative communication, communication practices in inclusive settings, connecting core words, aided language modeling, and literacy. As you can see, this resource is packed with relevant information. The last resources are to help families as they transition to and from in-school services. They are two web pages from the National Center on Deaf Blindness. The first is called Distance Learning for Proficient Communicators. It offers information on how to provide remote online instruction to students with deaf blindness who are proficient communicators. The second is called Partnering with Professionals Online. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many families of children with deaf blindness have turned to online support from professionals. The resources on this page are intended to help families get the most out of online consultation to gain knowledge and skills they need to promote their children's learning and development at home. We hope you found this video a useful guide to help answer your questions about how to support communication development at home, communication resources to share with educators, and how to support communication as your children transition to and from in-school services. If you are a parent, you may want to share this video with a team of educators and other professionals in your child's life so that together you can make sure that your child receives the support they need to learn and grow during the pandemic and beyond.